This video shows how to simulate a drawing in Automation Studio. Using the diagram of the system we drew in the previous video, we will assign a control to a component, launch the simulation, control the component, use dynamic measuring instruments, set component parameters during simulation, as well as discover line animation. To control the directional valve during simulation, use a component that will send a signal to this proportional valve, such as a steering wheel. Double-click on the component to open Component Properties. In Component Variables, the alias field is used to assign another name to the component. Name the wheel underscore CMD, an abbreviation of the word command. Double-click on the directional valve to see all the information included in the properties of this component. By clicking on the command, notice the properties of the signal can be converted in terms of force. Choose the input signal of this valve to be written by the variable of the steering wheel. Assign these two variables by clicking on the Connect button and Close. Return to the data of the steering wheel. Notice that the output signal is scaled from minus 10 to plus 10. If we remember, that's the same range as the command. Now to start the simulation. Go to the Simulation tab and click on Normal Simulation. Control the motion of the directional valve by moving the steering wheel with the mouse. Normally, the valve would send flow, but in this case, it's not animating. Measure the position of the cylinder to see if there is any motion. The stroke is moving, but very slowly. To remedy this, adjust some of the parameters. Click on the component to adjust settings. Increase the internal diameter of the first orifice during maturing and do the same for the output cylinder. By increasing the diameters, the position is increasing more quickly. Going above the threshold of the animation, we can see the line is animated based on the pressure level of the system. And we can see motion in the cylinder.